Hey viewers, and in today's video, we're going to be doing the logo for Alt Artist. I hope you get ready for this one. We're gonna try and keep this short for 15 minutes. It's gonna be a retro sci-fi Daft Punk alternative. My name is Roy, I'm a web designer. If you do find the content useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's get into the challenge. Now, just to kick it off, I would recommend this article by hyperpix.net, fonts, 80s fonts. So let's quickly check out this article. So this article is just a really good, really good post on different 80s fonts. And it's got that really nice retro um, feel to it. Again, we're going for retro, we're going for fun. And you've got Daft Punk, they kind of inspired by some of this stuff, the 80s. So this post has a bunch of really good fonts that are free, some are commercial, but again, this is a personal project. So have a pick, have a play, have a look at ones that you think fit the brief or ones that you like. And the ones that I've chosen is, I've chosen two, and Stereo Funk and Vampire Raves. So as an inspiration, what I've done as well is I found this image on Unsplash and you can see the style here that I'm going to go for. So Ready Player One and Ernest Klein. These are the two styles I'm aiming for. So what we're going to do is quickly kick it off, hit the T and we are going to straight away go for Stereo Funk. We're going to bring this up to let's say 288. We're just going to type. Okay, so this is lowercase, so alt artist. And you can see straight away that the style of it is just so unique and it's already got that kind of 80s retro. And this is not very similar to these, but it's just, there's just something about it that just really, yeah, just looks amazing to me. So it's really clean. And again, we're gonna do some uh, responsive at the end. So that is one choice, stereo funk. The other choice, if I just, actually a really quick way is just Command D, drag it down, and we're gonna change this to Vampire Raves. And straight away, there's, there's two different type styles. So one is uppercase, mainly uppercase. This is a lowercase. This one is very similar to the Ernest Klein. So we've got two choices. This one I believe is free for it's free for personal and commercial. This one is personal. So again, check the fonts that if they are for commercial, then you'll have to buy a license. So we picked two fonts and what we're going to do is look at the style. Okay, so I'm going to quickly open up a frame and I'm going to make that a iMac. And actually, I need to bring these right down. So let's bring these down to 72 and just bring it into this, into that page. And then I'm going to shift A to bring it into an auto layout so I can bring them closer together. Put this in the middle so it's like a presentation. OK, so let's make the gap a bit bigger between them. Let's say 160. And we can actually make it go like this, make it vertically line in the middle. We can make it vertical like this. Mm, maybe actually, <laughs> let's go back to stack. Stack is quite nice. Okay, so we've got two fonts and we've got a simple black version, black and white. And again, we can do a really quick test just to reverse it out, see how it looks uh, white on dark. So again, I'm just going very quickly white and you can see it's pretty legible we also make it smaller which we'll do later so what I mean by styles is we're going to copy this style and this style so again I'll copy this so we're showing lots of different versions and iterations and here what we're going to do is I'm going to put a stroke of four pixels and I'm going to straight away go for rose red. And this is something in Tailwind, or I can just go here, pick red. Oh, this is doing the fill. We don't want to do the fill. 
I want to do stroke and the stroke we're going to pick the red So roughly around there, we're actually going to fill it with white. So white is all the way up there. We're actually going to make the whole canvas black. So what we need to do now is zoom in, just hit the plus key. And we are just going to increase the, the, uh, the stroke. So I made it a lot thicker to four. We can compare it to the inspiration and I think that seems about right. Okay, so you can see the style already. It's starting to take shape, the personality. It's got that retro look to it. So that's for that font and we are going to do the same treatment for this one. So this is white and the stroke is four pixels on the outside. We are again going to go red. So we're going to go around here again. We don't have to be so precise right now. We're just testing out the different styles. So there, yeah, let me know in the comments which which font is actually uh, sticking out to you. Alt artist, alt artist. Okay. So now we're going to try that style. Again, we just copy paste. And we're doing lots of different versions just to test out the styles because I think that's always good because what we're gonna do in the next couple of videos is a design system. And there's the interactive components that just came out. So we're gonna do a really nice prototype with the design system. So don't miss out on that one. And what I'm gonna do here is straight away, we get rid of the fill and we're gonna go with a blue, a bluish color. So there you go, I just got lucky around there. Let's copy that. Let's actually, should we make that thinner? Let's say two, ooh, nice. And here we just do the same, make that two, get rid of the fill, minus. You see that, it's just got that really nice retro feel to it. So that's our two styles. So next up is the icon, okay? So you don't have to go too complicated with an icon. We're just gonna use the, um, the styles or the font, the first letter. So for example, if I was to copy this, we are just gonna simply, we're just gonna copy that, copy anywhere on, on the page and just bring it out like this. Same here, we're just gonna say, we're gonna use this, because again, we're practicing, we're testing it out. And this is why it's good to keep things very simple. So this will be the icon this will be the icon and it's just very quick and easy, right? So if I just get rid of the, if I get rid of the auto layout, so I just hit minus and they are in the same frame. So I'm gonna take it out and take this out as well and then delete that. So what I'm gonna do is start playing around. So I'm going to select both, hit shift A, and I'm going to make sure the space in between that is a lot smaller. So let's say 16, this one as well, shift A, we're going to say 16 spacing. So again, we're just testing out the logo. And what we're going to do is we are going to just bring this there, copy paste, drag it, and we're just gonna make these smaller, just to see how they look. So you can go really small, 24 and 24, okay. Is it still legible? We'll see, so 24. And this, this is what we mean by responsive. We're just seeing how it looks when it's tiny. So now I'm zoomed in at 100. So you can see this, you can still make out the dot with the A. This one is a lot more legible in a smaller size. So again, that one there, you can still make it out to be an A, possibly. Okay, so the other thing we want to test out is we want to also, let's just copy. We also want to see how they look vertically. Okay, so let's center that. And we just touch the down arrow and center that. And then reduce the spacing to zero. Let's say zero, just to see how it looks vertically. 
Actually, we probably need the gap when I look at it now. So again, we just we're just testing out how it looks in smaller sizes. And this one, we're also going to go to stack and stack. And we're going to vert uh, align this in the middle and also align that in the middle. So again, they, they look, they fit the brief of fun, retro, modern. Are these modern? But they're retro. Can you have retro and modern at the same time? But again, hopefully these will be memorable to the target audience. And I think that is pretty nice. So we got the style, we got the icon. Again, we can easily just copy paste. We can bring it back down here and we can go here. We can again start playing with the styles. So if I go to stroke, Okay, that's not going to work. I don't think it... Yeah, I have to select both. So stroke, and let's go red. Let's just guess the red around there. And I'll copy that just to see if I can copy it again. Let's say four pixels. You can see that already. It's just really, really nice. Again, select both. Oh, oh. We select both. We go to stroke, we paste in that color, we say four pixels. Again, it's got that, yeah, just, it just looks really, really nice in my eyes though. Let me know what you think. Uh, and again here, we're going to this smaller version. And because it's a smaller version, we're gonna have to be smaller with the stroke and you'll see why. So if I make it too thick, it is just way too thick. So I think two pixels is enough. And again here, if we're going for that style of treatment, again, we just find it and we just add a stroke and we're gonna make it two pixels again. So we got that really nice retro uh, look. And again, we're using inspiration from this image. You can get inspiration from so many places and the other style we're going to do is the blue style. So we're reaching up to nearly 50 minutes. That's great, we're actually on time. So now I can just go here and I can just select the blue to around there. Let's copy that blue. Oh, is that a blue, would you say? Let's go a bit more around here. Copy that. And this one, we can't actually go transparent, which is a shame. So that means we're going to have to go to each one and hide them. Just to see how the outline looks. Here we go there. And again, we have to go to both to get rid of the fill. And, and for me, I'm kind of feeling the red version and the red with the color the music is passion, uh, it's excitement. That's why I'm feeling red might be better for the brand. But again, we're practicing minus that. I think blue is pretty nice, but it feels more, it feels a lot more techy, which it kind of is because it's electronic, electronic music. So again, we've got Sony, we've got different versions, the white version, is it legible when it's small? Again, it, to me, this one feels more legible than this one. So we might be going towards this. But again, let me know what you think in the comments. I really do like this one. It's a bit more unique, maybe. And the way these, the way the letters join there, it just, it just, there's something about it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're trying to keep this one as short as possible. Uh, if you found it useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell. And in the next video, we're gonna start playing around with a design system, but we're also gonna bring in some imagery, some 
assets, design assets, or a design language, we're going to try and play around with that. And then, and on possibly on Sunday, we're going to do a interactive prototype because of the new interactive components that are out in beta with Figma. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video.